Hey guys, welcome back to another Ray video. This is going to be a very interesting one because I'm going to do a PvE showcase for the champion I just got yesterday. Theodore the Servant, right? The most powerful PvE champion in the entire game. And I actually played with, uh, played around with this champion for a couple hours today. And I come, uh, I came up with a lot of interesting team. Uh, I want to do a showcase of, alright? I know a lot of uh, Theodore videos are already out there from other content creators, but all the team set up from this video is, I think it, it, it should be unique, alright? Because uh, I did not copy any other con content creators team, alright? I'm going to showcase a lot of interesting team set up from one Kavalax to three Kavalax combined with Theodore. It's going to be definitely going to be a very interesting one. But before going to the video, uh, actually, I want to show you guys a couple um, very very cool dungeon team I saw from my clan discord because uh, a lot of my clanmates got uh, Teodor right from the tournament and actually a lot of people in my clan are super super excited to test this champion. Meanwhile, they created a lot of super super cool dungeon team. Uh, let's take a look at this. I'm going to pull up my discord. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, screenshot here. This team does not have Theodore, all right? But look at this, who we got here? Jin Wong, all right? With a 27 seconds, Dragon 25, with two Kavalax. Uh, actually, like, Kavalax can be replaced with Taurus. It's um, a pretty much similar champion, but uh, uh, Taurus will need to take an action turn. But Kavalax is a passive to place poison. So uh, the only difference is if you use Taurus, it's gonna be like three or four seconds slower. I think that's totally fine, right? And like, look look at this Jin Wong. What's so special about Jin Wong, right? If we take a look at this champion here, all right, where's our dude Jin Wong? I don't have him, so cannot do a showcase. Terrible review, the worst rated Void Legendary, of course, right? But look, let's look at the, his A2 here. This is 100% after book, increase the duration of all debuff on the target by one turn with a two turns cooldown after book. That's all he needs to do, right? Just increase the cooldown with two turns, uh, two turns cooldown. Increase the duration of debuff. That's all you need to do because if we take a look at screenshot here, they have two Kavalax and a Xavier. The dragon boss should have 10 poisons. All he needs to do is increase the poison duration and the dragon will just die. Um, in order for him to survive, I think you will need to do uh, put regeneration set on Jin Wong. Make sure he survives. But according to Infinite, the guy who came up with this team, um, this team has a like 3% fail rate, all right? Because if he's unable to put this um, increased duration of debuff, because it requires accuracy, right? If if you got 3% fail, um, like it could potentially fail the run because if the poisons run out on the boss, you won't be able to beat the dragon. All right, so the second one is this one. Um, Another very very cool team, Dragon 25 with 28 seconds again. No Theodore with a ninja instead, right? Super super cool team. Um, I think the, the idea is kind of similar with the Dark Kill solo strategy, right? You just get to the boss and let the boss one shot the other four champions. One shot uh, Xavia, Kalas, and Kaimar. Ninja is gonna be the last one alive and just solo the dragon boss. I think that's just how it is done. Uh, I think one reason that Ninja is potentially better than Dark Kill is that Ninja does not have an attack done, so the dragon deals more damage, you know. <laughs> it's actually quite important to make sure the dragon kill the other champions on your team, right? Uh, the next one is gonna be this one. Look at this. Already one dude on my clan got three Teodor already, right? <laughs> Alright, this, uh, this dragon run is not that fast, 35 seconds. But it's a cool team, right? With a Tomb Lord, Kaimar. But honestly, let me tell you guys this. One Theodore soloing the Dragon 25 is 35 seconds, around 35 seconds. So this is just a cool team, right? With three Theodore. And this one, look at this. Spider 25, eight seconds with two Theodore. All right, uh, I think this, this team is pretty straightforward. You just put the HP burn and you just combust it, right? Uh, the reason that it has to be Teodor, it cannot be Sissia. It's because Sissia's A2 is a combustion, but it deals damage. It could potentially kill the spidering, but Teodor does not do damage. 
right, on his A3, which is uh, also a combustion HP burn, instant, instantly detonates all the HP burn. It doesn't have, it's not a hit. So if someone has a Tumisia or any HP burn champion combined with three Theodore, it's gonna be the easiest Spider 25 ever, all right? So the last one is gonna be Dragon 25 with 19 seconds. I know this probably is the world record. I think the world record is 18 seconds. Um, this team actually, um, it's pretty straightforward, right? You just get to the boss with a Kaimar reset, and if you get to the boss, the refresh accessory on Kaimar proc, and the Kaimar got the reset again, you can get this type of timer. So, but I mean, my honest opinion is for, for you guys is don't take these type of world record too seriously because they could run like, uh, this is probably like one out of 20 run if you have a team style like this because it, it, uh, it just highly relies on the refresh accessory. The average runtime of this team is probably still 30 seconds. So don't take it too seriously, all right? And uh, in my video today, I'm not gonna go after those uh, world record team because I'm not going to really showcase a Kaimar. Uh, on my account, I only have one Prince Kaimar on my account, right? And I use that Kaimar uh, for, clan, uh, for for arena only. If I have to show use him in dungeon, I have to took off all his gears to make sure he can be killed by the, the boss, by the dragon, right? Um, because I gear him in arena set, arena gears. He is relatively tanky and it if the dragon is not able to kill him, it's gonna slow me down a lot. So in this video, I prefer not to use drag, uh, not to use Prince Kaimar. So, anyways, alright. So let's get into the showcase. Alright, let me just quickly show you guys the gear of my Theodore. Uh, I'm gonna showcase this dude everywhere in every dungeon except Fire Knight. Alright, Fire Knight is still under construction. I'm even gonna showcase him in a Doom Tower team that I think is super super good. I did a lot of testing today. That's my gear on him. Basically a solo build. Just build him fast in a regeneration set, enough resistance and enough accuracy with triple refresh accessory. I think refresh accessory is very important on Theodore like this. Uh, I don't have an accuracy or resistance banner, so I have to go with a ref uh, sorry, a defense flat defense banner on him. Alright, so I'm able to get his stats to look like this and of course fully booked. For the mastery, I'm using Warmaster. I know sometimes um, Warmaster is not good uh, in, in in places like Ice Golem, but I still decide to go with Warmaster on him. Looks like this. Alright, let's just do a dungeon run here. Alright, so let's go with uh, Dragons first. This is... Alright, <laughs> I have a team look like this, but anyways. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna showcase Teodor with one Cavalax, two Cavalax, and three Cavalax, alright? Because I have three Cavalax on my account. Think about this. Alright, so let's showcase the one Cavalax run first. With one Cavalax run, you will need two Combustor to make this run very fast. Alright, let's take a look at the run first. With one Cavalax and two Zavia as my Combustor. Okay, one shot the first wave. All right, putting out the poisons. One shot the second wave. Okay. Look at that. It should be a little bit over 30 seconds. All right, so 31 seconds with one Cavalax and two Combustor, all right? But with this two Combustor champion, um, I think it has to be Zavia. I know a lot of people use Elenaro, but this team actually requires some gear if you only have one Cavalax. Full poison sometimes is not enough, all right? Because uh, Elenaro does not do a hit. And sometimes if you use Elenaro, you could fail on the wave. Let me show you guys the gear of my two Zavia. If you want to try this one combustor, uh, sorry, one Cavalax strat with two combustor, all right? So this is my Zavia. Both my Zavia does not have a ring because I want the dragon boss to kill them as, um, as, as fast as possible. So it's super slow, 121 speed. This one is 115 speed. 
All right, there's a little bit of 200 IQ stuff here, all right? So for this one, I'm going to use this skill first on the first wave, all right? I'm going to do the poison explosion on the slower one first, and then this one is gonna kill the first wave, first um, trash wave. And with this mastery here, it's gonna get 18 speed from this mastery. So on the second trash wave, she is gonna go first and she's gonna put the A2 uh, first on the enemy wave. And then my second Zavia, which is faster on the first wave, but becomes slower on the second wave. That's how these two works together. I try to use Elenaro, but it doesn't work. All right, at least with my gear or something, it doesn't work because when I use Elenaro to um, instantly activate the poisons, the trash wave have like 5% HP left. So it has to be Zavia, I feel like. For the mastery, I went with War Master. Both Zavia has pretty much similar, same uh, mastery. And for my Camelax here, I think this is the one I use. I have three Camelax on my account. This is the one I use, just a crit damage set because I need, like his A3 actually does decent damage, all right? If you have 10 poisons on the boss. So two refresh accessories and a crit damage set. Look at this, no speed at all, all right? This plus 10 speed is from my faction guardian. Um, preferably, I should have no speed at all on this champion. And for crit rate, because uh, he has strong affinity, so you only need 85% crit rate. And this A3 actually hits over 400,000 on Dragon Boss. And uh, also I'm using War Master. And for the Renegade, where's our dude Renegade? This is our Renegade here, no gear at all. Just a weapon to make sure he, uh, she is a little bit slower than Kallax. She is the slowest champion on the team. Uh, let's do the one Cavalax, uh, Cavalax run one more time, then I can showcase the two Cavalax run. Alright, looks like this. One Zavia puts up poison, this one is gonna detonate. And then this Zavia becomes faster because of the mastery. Alright, then gonna one shot the wave again. Look at this, 200 IQ stuff. <laughs> okay. Alright, 33 seconds. That's fine. So now let's get to the two Cavalax team. It is this one. Like I said, I do not use Kaimar, alright? Because I don't want to uh, take off Kaimar's gear when I want to farm dungeon, alright? I just want to go ahead and farm my dungeon. Um, this is my Elenaro and two Cavalax, alright? Uh, let's take a look at the run first. This should be the fastest one. I got it to 27 seconds with two Cavalax run. Alright, it's gonna be a one shot wave. And it's gonna be a one shot. So, well, 13 seconds to the boss. Not bad. Okay. Alright, so a little bit bad RNG there. Let's let's run again. Should be within 30 seconds, I would say. Okay, so a shot here. Keep it going. Come on, just uh, finish it here. All right, 35. So anyways, that's basically the run. Um, the only difference is I use uh, Elenaro with like two combustor, right? Elenaro is gonna not uh, activate poison on the second turn. That's my Elenaro's gear. Basically no gear with a accuracy set with the speed a little bit slower than my first Savia, and that's basically it. All right, and actually I built two Cadillacs pretty similar, uh, because if you're trying to 
farms dragon really really fast, I think you still need to gear Kavalax in 100% crit with high crit damage. Like this A3 actually has damage, don't underestimate this. This is the Kavalax I'm using, the second one. Um, pretty much similar stats, right? The accuracy is really low because I use Teal as my lead. Uh, you absolutely don't want Kavalax lead, right? Because uh, taking more turn is just gonna slow you down. Uh, you want the boss to take turns for the poison tick. The second one is not booked, right? But very similar stats with um, uh, with refresh accessory. So, anyways, let's get to triple Kavalax run. All right, <laughs> this one is actually triple Kavalax run is actually a little bit slower than previous two I showcased. But let's see how it goes. Alright, let's see how it goes. Triple Kavalax. Alright, I'm just gonna take down the wave by raw damage. I don't want to use Zavia's A3 yet. Alright, 13 seconds for the first wave. And the second one is gonna be one shot from Poison Explosion. Alright, 20 seconds to boss. Okay, let's keep it going. Alright, sorry, 40 seconds. Alright, so a little bit slower than the previous ones. And actually, Theodore alone can just solo the dragon in like 40 seconds. Right, Let, let's take a look at this. I think he can just do it very, very easily because uh, he has strong affinity here. Alright, 12 seconds for the first wave. Alright, so 30 seconds to boss. Look at that. Super fast. Alright, so a little bit over 40 seconds. Like the fastest I've seen uh, Theodore solo the dragon is like 35 seconds. So, yeah, that's basically the dragon showcase. Alright, let's get to Ice Golem. I'm gonna showcase him everywhere except Fire Knight, alright? Except Fire Knight. So let's do a dragon, uh, sorry, Ice Golem showcase. Like the, this team is pretty much exactly the same compared to Dragon with my two Kavalax strat, with two Combustor. I don't want to use a Kaimar, so I don't have to uh, take off his gear. So the only difference is, if you, uh, this is me playing safe, right? Once I get to the boss at round three for my Kavalax, I'm gonna disable uh, the A3 here. Right? I'm, I don't want him to use the A3, because this could potentially uh, trigger Ice Golem's passive, which Ice Golem is gonna do a massive AoE. Like, if it procs, the Ice Golem is gonna one shot my team. This is just my uh, safe option. If I want to push for world world record, I could enable it, right? But let's just take a, uh, take a look at what uh, how this team goes. It should be within uh, the fastest is also like 27 seconds. I got with this team. It should be very consistent, right? Pretty much the exact same team compared to my Dragon team, right? So 12 seconds to the boss. Keep it going. So yeah, like as you guys can see, the fastest I got is 27 seconds with this team. All right, let's run again. Should be like 12 seconds to the uh, to boss. Keep it going. Yeah, if I use Kalax A3 here, it's gonna be much faster. 
right? 34. Yeah, it's something like that, right? Um, let's take a look at Spider. Um, I only have one Theodore, so this is gonna be my Spider team. Let's just take a look at how it goes, right? You still need an AOE HP burn champion, right? And and Yumiko is just here for reset. I think in this place, uh, Kaimar is okay, and Renegade is okay, right? So this should be uh, 15 seconds, something like that. Wait, this is an unlucky run. Right, this is an unlucky one. 21 seconds? That's so embarrassing. This should be 15 seconds top. Let's take a look again. Do this. Yeah, the problem of Sissia is it is a hit. So that's not good. Right, Spattering takes too much damage. So 15 seconds. Um, if I have two Theodore and I don't have to use Sissia, I think it's gonna be faster, right? Sissia's A2 still does too much damage to the Spiderlings. Alright. Okay, so 15 seconds. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, consistent 15 seconds run. Alright. Uh, I guess that's about it for the for the dungeons. I don't have it done for Fire Knight. Maybe I have to do more um, testing about Fire Knight. So like I said, Fire Knight is still under construction. Now let me get into the final part. I want to show you guys a Doom Tower stage team that I put up. All right, I'm just gonna pick random stages. All right, let's just let's just pick this one. This is a team I put up. Uh, it looks pay to win, but there is definitely other options. You need two champions to reset your skills. All right, and one Theodore, Kalas can be a Taurus, and and Tromesia. I think it has to be someone that can do AOE HP burn. Not AOE HP burn, but at least AOE crowd control, like AOE stun or something like that. At least that. All right, otherwise it's not gonna be consistent. All right, this is not gonna be the fastest. Uh, this is not gonna be the team with the lowest turns taken. All right, but it is very consistent against even super high level of doom tower um non-boss stage uh, let's take a look and it's gonna be very very fast let's take a look at this team here maybe i don't have enough accuracy sorry this is embarrassing i don't i probably um don't have enough accuracy on my disc Cavalax. i got a lot of resist here all right let's keep it going Look at that. It doesn't have a great turn count, but it's actually really, really fast. All right, no joke, it's actually really, really fast. Look at that. Super easy. Boom, just like that. It's only like 30 seconds, uh, it doesn't have the great turn count, but it pretty much works on any floor, non-boss floor. Look at this, this is floor 117 on hard mode, alright? Look at this, I got a lot of resist, I don't have enough accuracy probably. Look at that. Okay, let's keep it going. Boom, one shot. Just like that, 32 seconds. Uh, personally, I don't really care about turn count, all right? As long as it's consistent and it's relatively fast. Right, let's take a look at one more time. The last time and I'm done, right? Stage 118 on hard mode, look at that. I got a lot of resist there. That's not good. Don't kill my Cavalax. Okay. So, yeah. Keep it going. Boom. The last wave. Look at that. 
deleted. Just like that. Alright. Like, yeah, I think it's super consistent with this team. Alright. Um, maybe it might have a little bit issue against Rodos waves, but otherwise it's just super super good. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for the showcase. What do you guys think? Alright, I think this champion is very fun to play with and surprisingly after um after um they player and put out the the tournament right a lot of people in my clan um just became super super interested in dungeon team and we are seeing a lot of cool dungeon things like the screenshot i just showcased right so anyways what do you guys think um personally i think without this champion 99 percent of you, you guys out there will be just fine because from the screenshot I should show, show, showcase, right? You can literally do 27 seconds dragon run with a Jin Wong or a Ninja. So without this champion, you guys probably just gonna be fine, honestly. But undeniably, this is a very, very fun champion and I like him a lot. All right, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Do you find these teams interesting enough? Let me know and I will see you guys in a video soon. Bye.